Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm a litigation associate here at Kleinbard. In my work here, I focus a lot on education matters. With bullying increasingly taking place online, schools are not only worried about issues in the classroom, but outside of them. It's important for schools to ensure that their policies adequately reflect best industry standards, to nurture and create a safe learning environment for our students. Schools must take a proactive step to make sure that they not only protect themselves, but also their students. States such as Pennsylvania and New Jersey have enacted very strong anti-bullying legislation. However, private schools typically lack consistency when adopting and revising their bullying policies and procedures. It's important for schools to understand that they're not immune from what happens with their students outside of the classroom and online. In this video, I'll discuss best practices for schools to consider when reviewing and drafting their policies. In the first instance, it's important for schools to review their existing policies. Understand how do you define bullying? What are the next steps that you would take once a bullying report is made by a parent? Another useful tool that should be accessible to all end users is a universal form that details all the key information you'd want to know from the parent. Information such as who is the victim, who is the alleged bully, where did the bullying occur? Was it in person? Was it online? If it was online, did it occur over a text message, over a platform such as TikTok or Instagram? Things like that. Another important detail to capture is did the bullying target the victim's protected class such as race, religion, or sexual identity. Remember to stay up to date when reviewing and revising your policies to ensure that they adequately reflect any changes in the law. The next step is to make sure that all reports of bullying are fully investigated under the policies and procedures that your school has outlined. It's not enough for schools to simply say they're looking into it. Rather, school policies should provide clear and step-by-step -step instructions for how an investigation should occur. As part of that investigation, schools should be working proactively with families and keeping an open line of communication of how the investigation is occurring. When schools don't adequately address and investigate reported bullying and keep parents out of the loop throughout that investigative process, typically we see the bullying persist and the most devastating consequences occur. At the end of the day, it's all about creating a culture of accountability. Identifying your weak areas in your policies and procedures is very important because, as we see in the news these days, more schools are facing lawsuits because they cannot adequately address and investigate reported bullying that occurs in person and also online. Working with an experienced attorney will help you navigate these issues and, again, to instill a culture of accountability to keep our kids safe.